What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a new alien card coming out of Invasion of Venom, and this is the strangest legacy support that I can remember uh maybe ever and i say that because aliens were never a popular archetype um i'm not knocking konami for making this card it's just really like strange and it, it's make me it makes me scratch my head because they weren't even popular when they were coming out they were never really that good like they were beyond kind of just niche and it's really strange that this archetype would be getting support in this set at least with the other uh, archetypes that are getting support in Evasion of Venom, you can kind of see where, oh, okay, they still have a lot of fans, like Gradles uh, or Arrow Mages, where, you know, people were like, man, we really like these, but they don't have enough cards, or Cyframes, I think, actually have a pretty solid fan base, like, people, I think, actually like Cyframes, and, you know, they're actually really solid and have some decent cards, and these archetypes are getting more support, Cleave Fort again, supposed to be rumored, I would say they have the biggest audience of those archetypes, but with Aliens, I mean, it says on YG Organization, they haven't gotten support since Crimson Cry crisis that is a fucking 5d set guys if i remember off the top of my head i want to say crimson crisis was like the fourth set because there was what duelist genesis crossroads of chaos i feel like crimson wait i think crimson crisis came right after crossroads of chaos so it'd be like the third 5d set which would put it around like i think 2010 ish somewhere around that uh my point is there has not been a new alien card in basically like over half a fucking decade it has been a long time so for them to try and revive this archetype is like whoa i just didn't see that coming at all now it would have to be one hell of a card because um aliens if you never played them they are wildly uh underpowered because uh, like their archetype kind of revolves around a counters uh, which I think stands for alien counters. I don't know what the hell else it could stand for. Alien counters are things that a lot of these monsters give to uh, monsters on your opponent's side of the field. And like this guy right here, Alien Hunter, it says if this card destroys a monster um, with an A counter by battle, it can you know attack again once in, uh, once again in a row. So it gets basically two attacks uh, that turn. Like the whole deck revolved around uh, summoning monsters, giving your opponent A counters. And then those A counters kind of acted like a debuff. You know, a lot of these monsters, when they attack a monster with an A counter, you know, they'll either like blow it up immediately or they'll reduce the monster's attack and defense by like 300 per A counter. This one, this card right here um, is basically like a mirror force uh, against monsters that have A counters. Like if your opponent, if an opponent's monster with an A counter attacks, then you get basically the mirror force effect. The problem is none of their effects were really broken enough to like keep up with the meta like they weren't they weren't messing with other powerful decks at the time like this was not a deck that was going to take down something like black wings or later in the 5d's era where we had things like um uh like x sabers or six samurai like the ridiculously powerful um 5d's archetype so they never really got off the ground despite having some a bunch of supports i think their synchro is actually pretty good but like these are kind of like the only cards that aren't really like haven't been power creep this guy is like a blizzard this guy is just vanilla 1900 vanilla 1900 is still good by today's standards you can use it with rescue rabbits or you know people play garnet for you know because it's like pretty solid so well garnet has other uses but i'm getting off topic here's what the card looks like artwork looks pretty good again i'm still just in shock that they're bringing back aliens or at least attempting to this is called a cell um recombination device uh, it's a quick play it says target a face up monster on the field send one alien monster from your deck to the graveyard and if you do place a counters on the monster uh equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard effect number two during your main phase except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard add one alien monster from your deck to your hand okay so one problem aliens used to always have with for those like five people on earth who actually played the deck um or if you would try to build them now a lot of times aliens can like it seems like they can't put enough counters out fast enough there are a couple of aliens that can put like two counters at a timeout or a lot of them do like one counter and it's just not enough like if your opponent had three monsters on the board you were not getting alien counters on all those monsters not in one turn anyways so it's like it always felt ridiculously slow 
and slow for effects that weren't even like really game changing weren't even like broken at least this card does have the ability to put a bunch of a counters on the field at once i'm talking more than just two you know what i mean because eight like aliens have a lot of level four monsters they've got uh you know hunter they've got shock trooper there's a lot of level fours here um no not alien kid uh this guy right here alien skull so at least this guy can at least this card can send you know a monster with like eight stars or, or eight 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 counters you know what i mean four counters you can put a bunch of alien counters on the field on a monster at one point that's what i'm trying to get i guess the second thing that would be good about this card is the fact that it's always going to be a one for one um and it can be used during both players turns like uh, unless this card unless your opponent chains like macro cosmos because only thing that's a cost on this at least for the first effect is actually targeting the monster um with the second effect it just has to be uh in the graveyard so unless your opponent chains like macro cosmos to this card's activation it's gonna hit the graveyard and during its next turn or i guess if you use it during your opponent's turn when it comes back to you you should be able to banish this card and it will automatically pay for itself now do i think that this card's good i mean compared to what aliens have now i would i would guess so because again i think all their cards are pretty much underpowered but again we're talking about an archetype that's six years old and was never really that good will this bring aliens back fuck no <laughs> you know what i mean this is this is for people who just enjoy playing like casually this is not gonna be anything remotely competitive unless there are like four more cards in this set that are just absolutely broken i'm talking about like you know a card that says uh remove an a counter to draw one and then there's another card that says like remove an a counter to like banish cards on your opponent's side of the field per like every a counter you you know you remove or something like that like then aliens would be like okay we're you know we have fucking arrived but outside of that I don't really think so. Expect this card to probably be a common. It's a nice thought from Konami, but it's just strange. Like, I mean, I just don't see where this is coming because, to my knowledge, nobody in the show plays aliens. So it's like, I really don't know where this card came from. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, as always.